Hey guys, welcome back to the Crazy Fix with Frazy. Now, if you're new to the channel, you're gonna wanna hit the like button because you're gonna like this video. And when you're done, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm uploading videos on a daily basis. You do not wanna miss out on the next topic. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, so the question today, or the topic that we're talking about today is, is it okay to have sex on the first date? Now that's a huge question that can either go both ways. There's, I've heard valid arguments for both ways. Now, a lot of females, they feel like if they have sex on the first day, it may get, give off the wrong image and a guy might not take them seriously. And I'm pretty sure that has happened a, quite a few times, but I don't wanna say that happens all the time because it can also go the other way where you don't, give, you, you don't have sex the first night Let's say you make, you make the guy wait three months and then he, he has sex with you and then he just ups and leaves. So I really wouldn't go with that. To me personally, I, I think that uh, it's based on it's based on the date. Well, actually, let me, let me go back. I think, first of all, you have to take into consideration what are you trying to get out of it. In terms of if I'm, I'm going on a date with, with this young, young lady, now am I going on a date like uh, am I just dating? Am I just passing time or am I actually trying to find somebody to settle down with long term see I think you need to have all these things and and like in your mind because you don't want to go go there and then you're and then you're not sure That's my son. And, and then and then you're uh, not sure where you stand and then he asks you and then you're like a deer caught in the headlights you just uh, 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 you backtrack you know what I mean so you should always know what your intentions are before you even go on a date a lot of people do know that but um a love expert recommends she says that women should not and she was very stern about this she says women should not have sex on the first date because it's scientifically proven yes scientifically proven that women can't separate love from sex so that's why i mean if i've been through it uh if you have sex with a girl knowing that it's strictly supposed to be sex they will more likely like I said, it can be on, guys can do it too though, but nine, nine, nine times out of 10, the female is gonna be more emotionally attached than the guy is. And that's why I kind of understand where that makes sense, where women can't separate love from sex. Now, there are some women that could, and it's kind of, it, it kind of backfires on them because like I said, it's scientifically proven. So. When a woman's just like, it's like, you know what? No, I just want to have sex and stuff like that. Nine times, that, even she says that nine times out of 10, she would be the one that would start having to start to develop feelings first. Because like I said, it's an emotional connection right there. When you have sex with somebody, it's an emotional connection and females tend to be overly, like they seem to express that more common than guys. So that's why I can understand where she's saying, well, you shouldn't have sex. But I personally think, regardless of what's scientifically proven and stuff like that, I personally think that it's based on your date. How did a date go? Because you don't want to think, have the mindset, oh, I can't have sex because I don't want to come off like that or I don't want to be emotionally attached to a guy who I barely know. Don't think like that because you never know. Like, I know, well, I don't know, I'm lying. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to you. I've read, I've read and I heard about people that they had sex on the first date and they've been in love and they still happily in love right now. So I wouldn't necessarily base it on that. I just think, like I said, I don't really think there's actually no real honest answer to tell you the truth. Yeah, I really don't think so. Even though the love expert said you should not, it's not recommended. I don't think you can even go based on it, even though it's it's facts. Because like I said, everybody's relationship is different. It's all based on the chemistry, how how the date went. If you like the guy and the guy likes you and y'all vibing good and y'all both have the same similar like goals in mind in terms of in terms of where you where you guys see yourself going in the future, then why not go for it? You you're an adult. He's an adult. So that's my two cents on that. I I don't think there's no actual yes or no or two dates one date three dates ten dates i don't think there's no definite answer like that i just feel like you have to go with your gut and based on like i said i think the most important is knowing where like where do you see you and your your, your date going are, are you guys just dating or do you see it developing a future together stuff like that so i think that's the number one thing 
thing I would take into consideration. And then how does the date go? You know, maybe uh, you yeah both expressed that you guys wanted to like settle down and do long term, but the vibe during the date and the chemistry just wasn't there. And maybe y'all just wanted to be hookups. Who knows? You know what I mean? I'm not here to judge you. So, like I said, I think it all depends on the date, how how the date goes, and knowing what's your intentions. There's no yes, there's no yes or uh, no answer to that. That's my belief, all right? So thank you for watching this video. If you guys have any comments, feel free to comment below. And let me get some ideas. What should I talk about next? Talk to me, people. And most importantly, don't forget, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. See you guys next time.